Guinea has declared an Ebola pandemic after three people died and four others became ill in the country southeast. Hello and welcome, my name is Luisa and these are the most relevant news of this week. China bans the broadcast of the BBC's international news channel in the country. The BBC's international news channel will no longer be able to broadcast in China. The authorities of the Asian country announced on Thursday the suspension of the broadcast of BBC World News, arguing that it has seriously violated its national regulations. We absolutely condemn uh, the PRC's decision to ban BBC World News. Uh, the PRC maintains one of the most controlled, most oppressive, least free information spaces in the world. The decision comes after the Chinese government's criticism of BBC reporting on the coronavirus and the persecution of the Uyghur ethnic minority in Xiangyang, which Beijing denies. <laughs> Donald Trump was found not guilty during the impeachment trial process. The Senate acquitted former President Donald Trump on Saturday, though seven Republicans sided with all Democratic senators to find him guilty. It began with a move that could have extended the trial for weeks, as the Senate, House managers and Trump's legal team considered calling witnesses. After an agreement to continue without witnesses, House prosecutors used their closing argument to make the case that Trump had spent months firing up his followers leading to the storming of the Capitol on January 6, which left five people dead, including a Capitol police officer. With the Senate acquitting the former president, Trump is free to run for public office again, including the 2024 presidential election. Trump also gets to keep his benefits as a former president, including an annual pension, up to $1.5 million in travel expenses each year, and a Secret Service security detail for life. Two-thirds of the senators present not having voted guilty, the Senate judges that the respondent, Donald John Trump, former President of the United States, is not guilty as charged in the article of impeachment. New Ebola outbreak declared in Guinea. Health authorities in Guinea declared an outbreak of Ebola in the rural community of Goke in Circor Prefecture, after three Ebola cases were confirmed by the National Laboratory, marking the first time the disease has been reported in the country since an outbreak ended in 2016. WHO staff are already on the ground. In addition to surveillance, they will help with ramping up infection, prevention and control of health facilities and other key locations and reaching out to communities to ensure they take a key role in the response. WHO is also supporting the country to procure the Ebola vaccine, which has proven instrumental in controlling outbreaks in the Democratic Republic of Congo. These were the headlines. Remember to follow us on social networks and see you again next week.